This is the Xiaomi Mi A3. What's so special about this phone? Hello guys and welcome to Valor Reviews. In this video, I'll be unboxing the Xiaomi Mi A3. I'll also be sharing my thoughts and experience after using this device for two weeks. And to round things up, I'm going to show you how good or bad the camera of this device is. Now let's go. The version I have with me is the 4 gb RAM and 128GB of internal storage. In my region, this phone goes for 7,000 Naira or $210. There is also a 4 gb RAM and 64 gb of internal storage version that goes for 71,000 Naira or $194. The Xiaomi Mi A3 comes in three colors. White, which is the color I have with me, and in my opinion, is the best color. It also comes in blue and gray. In the box, you get the phone, a user manual, warranty card, a TPU case, a SIM removal tool, a 10 w charger, and a USB-C cable. If you have an 18W charger lying around, the Mi A3 is compatible with it, and that will give you faster charging time. Once you hold the phone in your hand, it becomes apparent that the Xiaomi Mi A3 is kinda small, and that's a good thing. You can use this phone with one hand without having the fear of dropping it. It has a 6 inch display and your thumb can easily reach the edge. This device feels premium thanks to the aluminum frame and the rear glass. The front and back glass are Gorilla Glass 5, so yeah, it's a durable phone, but please use the case that came in the box if you want to keep this phone looking brand new. Speaking on the case, I find myself having to remove the case to charge the phone or when I want to use headphones. The case is too thick and doesn't make the headphones connector sit properly, and that messes up the audio. Same thing with the USB-C charger, the case doesn't allow the male USB-C charger end to sit properly. The Mi A3 isn't water resistant, so don't go playing in the rain with this phone. On the left side of the device, there is the SIM and memory card tray. It's a hybrid tray that can take one SIM and one memory card, or two SIMs without a memory card. On the right side, you have the power button and the volume buttons. On the top, you have a mic, a 3.5mm audio jack, and an IR blaster, which happens to be one of my favorite features of this phone. The IR blaster can control your AC, your TV, and any other device that uses an infrared control. You will have to download the Mi Remote Controller to be able to use the IR blaster. On the bottom, wait a minute, this looks familiar. Anyways, you have the speaker holes. It's a mono speaker that is located on the right side. The left side does nothing. And in the middle, you have a USB-C port. On top of the six inch display, you have a 32 megapixel camera and an LED notification light. The notification light only comes in one color, which is white, and you can't change the color. And below, you have the in-display fingerprint scanner. The fingerprint scanner is actually fast, as you can see. What slows it down is the animation and there isn't any way to stop it. At the rear of the device, you have a triple camera setup with a 48 megapixel wide angle camera, a 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, and a 2 megapixel depth camera. You also have a flash. In this video, I'll be testing out the cameras on the Xiaomi Mi A3, so stay tuned and hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying this video so far. Now let's move to the display. The bezels on this device are not too big. The screen on this device is a Super AMOLED panel with 286 pixels per inch. The only disappointment on paper is it's a 720p panel. But in real life, this panel doesn't look like a 720p panel. No pixelations when you move the device close to your eyes. It's bright and well calibrated. You can also use this phone in direct sunlight without any problems. This is one of the best 720p panels in the market. And after using the Xiaomi Mi 90 that has a 1080p panel, honestly, I can live with the panel on the Mi A3. It's that good. Now, moving to performance, the Xiaomi Mi A3 has a Snapdragon 665 chip on board with an octa-core CPU and Adreno 610 GPU. The phone is running on Android 9. The Mi A3 is an Android 1 device, which means it meets the software requirements set by Google. You can be rest assured that this device is going to be fortified with updates. The Mi A3 will definitely get Android 10. It's just a matter of time. The phone is fast and playing PUBG is smooth although you are limited to medium frame rates and balanced graphics. PUBG is totally playable and I did not experience any hiccups. For multitasking, switching between apps is fast thanks to the 4GB of RAM and because it's running on stock Android without any bloatware, there's no lag in operating this phone. Look at it go! 
call quality is impressive, I had no qualms receiving or answering calls. The people I spoke to could hear me loud and clear and the speaker did a good job when I turned on the speaker for calls. Another thing I noticed and appreciated in the Xiaomi Mi A3 is the GPS signal. It gets good signal when I'm using Google Maps. Comparing it with the Xiaomi Mi 90, Google Maps on that device is twitchy. I noticed when I'm on a straight road, all of a sudden, it will just take a turn while I'm going straight. I didn't have any of that issue using the Xiaomi Mi A3. Battery life on this device is A-OK. -okay. It's pretty solid. The Mi A3 is packing a 4030 mAh battery. I typically get 7 to 8 hours screen on time. This device would definitely last the whole day. Now let's move to what makes the Xiaomi Mi A3 a special phone and that's the cameras. Let's start off with the front facing camera. It has a 32 megapixel camera that takes decent pictures. Here are some of the samples taken with the front facing camera. Hello guys, so here's a video from the front facing camera of the Xiaomi Mi A3. It records in 1080p at 30 frames per second. And I think the quality is actually good, so well done Xiaomi, well done. The front camera doesn't have any form of stabilization, so when you run and you're recording, the footage is going to be shaky. Moving to the rear camera, here are some of the samples. The rear camera can shoot in 4K, 30 frames per second, but with no stabilization. The camera can shoot in 1080p on 30 frames per second with stabilization. It can also shoot time lapse and slow motion. The camera is really, really good. So, guys, here's a video from the rear camera. It does shoot in 4K, 30 frames per second, 1080p, 60 frames per second, and 1080p, 30 frames per second. But stabilization is only available on 1080p, 30 frames per second. So when I run, the image is still stable. Yes, I dropped my phone thanks to my dog and this happened. The Gorilla Glass 5 didn't save me this time around. I think it might have been worse considering the type of surface the phone landed on. I feel like crying, I swear to God. Now to round things up, the 720p display on this device is a deal breaker. But in real life, after using the device, honestly, the display isn't bad. Obviously, Xiaomi opted for this display to make the phone a little bit affordable. I don't think the display on this device should be a deal breaker considering the price of this phone. The cameras on this device are really, really good as you can see. And I think for 71,000 Naira or $190, the Xiaomi Mi A3 is the camera king. If you love stock Android and you don't mind a 6 inch display, if you want a phone that has a good battery life, good cameras and good looks, if I was in the market to buy a new phone and I have 71,000 Naira or $190, I'll definitely get the Xiaomi Mi A3. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. If you love German Shepherds, I have a free dog for you. Or maybe I should do a dog giveaway. My Calabar people offer, hit me up. As always, thank you for watching. It's time for me to sign out and go and cry. Balo, signing out. <laughs>